following for you this afternoon from the shoreline. A massive hazmat investigation right now continues at a business in Old Saybrook. Officers have been at Lab Direct LLC for more than a day now. That's on Center Road West. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you right here off Route 1. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dennis Valera is live on the scene. He has more on uh, what is potentially a federal investigation as well, right? Right, Mark, you know, ATF, they were here at some point. However, they have since left the scene and the investigation altogether. Most of the investigators really have left. As you can see, just one police car. I did see at least one deep vehicle inside. So things seem to be wrapping up, but there are still a lot of unknowns here. We don't even know exactly what sparked this investigation, just that it is a criminal one. Sort of frightening, I guess. Mark Everin was hoping to get into work by noon. I think they have it under control, hopefully. But his boss called him just before the hour, saying the investigation across the street meant they'd be closed today. You turn on the news, it's like every day something with this money, police officers. Old Saybrook Police Chief Michael Sparris says officers have had Center Road West shut down since 2 p.m. yesterday. While we've confirmed it's for a criminal investigation at LabDirect LLC, we don't know why. The business is described as a biochemical supplier on its website, and some highly flammable chemicals are listed in its inventory online. When ATF was here, they did request assistance from Connecticut State Police's bomb squad to handle potentially explosive materials. As we've been here, our cameras did catch smoke coming above the trees where LabDirect is, and a couple loud explosions were heard. Chief Sparrow said those were intentional and that there's been no threat to the public. Hazmat response unit vehicles and deep investigators have also responded to this. LabDirect's owner sent us a statement saying, I can't comment much on the situation while it's ongoing beyond saying we have always and are currently cooperating fully with all relevant authorities to try to resolve any issues and that there is no hazard to public safety. Chief Spare earlier stressed the ongoing nature of this investigation, saying to reveal anything could compromise the work being done. As we learn more, we'll bring you updates live on air and, of course, on the Channel 3 app. Live in Old Saybrook, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.